Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Having trouble transferring your WhatsApp data from Google Drive to your iPhone? In this video, I'll show you a few methods you can try to solve the problem. Let's go. It's important to know that WhatsApp backups on Google Drive are made for Android devices, and WhatsApp backups on iCloud are made for iPhones. There's no way to restore a WhatsApp backup from Google Drive to an iPhone directly. But there are some workarounds to help you with this problem. I recommend an iPhone data transfer tool to help you transfer or backup your iPhone data, including WhatsApp data. Once you manage to restore WhatsApp messages on your iPhone, you can use this to transfer WhatsApp from Android to iPhone directly. WhatsApp does not develop software to transfer data from one device to another with support for all devices, including Windows. Android, iOS, and Mac. But there are a lot of third-party transfer tools capable of moving WhatsApp data from Android to iPhone, or vice versa. And here, I'm going to recommend a professional desktop WhatsApp data transfer tool. This software is designed to make it easy to transfer, backup, and restore chat data from WhatsApp. With its WhatsApp transfer feature, you can move the app messages, documents, photos, stickers, videos, and audio from your iOS and Android devices. You can visit the link I've attached to the description below to try the software with a free trial, or purchase it with unlimited use and a 30-day money-back guarantee. To use it, you need a PC to download and install the software from the official website. Make sure your mobile devices and operating systems can work together with the tool. You can look at this list of tech specifications that the tool supports. Then connect both your source and target mobile devices to your computer using USB cables. Now, open the tool application on your computer. Within the software, select WhatsApp from the choices. By default, the transfer feature is already displayed, so the next thing to do is to choose source and target. The software will typically display your connected devices. Designate which device is the source, the device with the data you want to transfer, and which is the target, the device you want to transfer the data to. You can also click the button here in the center to switch which one of the devices is the source or target. It could be Android to iPhone, vice versa, or iPhone to iPhone. Afterward, click the transfer button to begin the process. Pay close attention to any on-screen instructions that the software provides. You may need to grant permissions on your mobile devices. After setting up your devices by following the instructions shown, tap on Continue to resume the process of transferring data. The transfer process may take some time, depending on the amount of data. Allow the software to complete the process without interrupting it. Once completed, it is wise to verify that all of your data has transferred correctly. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.